Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Jay Ben is a light back again with another one. You feel me? Now, in this video right here, I'm going to be talking about semen retention day one to day seven. So, your first week being on semen retention or on your celibacy journey, whatever you want to call it. Just retaining your energy. You feel me? Retaining your energy, keeping your energy in your body. You feel me? Not letting your energy out to some, some random thought. Not letting your energy out to some screen, to some pixels on the screen, like a goofy. You know what I'm saying? Not doing none of that no more. Day one to seven, this is, I'm going to be going over in this video, day one to seven, the benefits you going, the benefits you going to see day one to seven, as well as the many things that you probably will see along your journey day one to seven from my own personal experience. You feel me? So let's get right into the video. Now, you got to understand that if you a person who's used to just releasing your energy over and over and over again and whatnot, and and now you start your celibacy journey or your semen retention rather journey that the first the first three to seven days is going to be a time where your brain is is really rewiring itself your body is really getting used to your body is really getting getting that energy up and really getting used to having this energy within yourself you feel me this is like a, the first week i would say is like a stabilization period you know what i'm saying along your which along your entire journey as it is what I mean by that is this, is that on the first week, you're going to experience a lot of urges, number one. Number one, you're going to experience a lot of urges. You're going to be horny, bro. You're going to be wanting to fuck with these thoughts. You're going to be wanting to fuck with these women. Like, you're going, you're going to want to, you're going to want to, you're going to be laying down in bed at night and you're going to want to let your energy out. But you got to understand, you got to stay 10 toes. You got to stay strong for yourself, my nigga, for yourself and for, and for, for all the people in your life that you want to impact being a better version of yourself you feel me because that's what this that's what this semen retention thing is about it's about retaining your energy for whatever purpose that you have for it whether it be for spiritual reasons trying to ascend spiritually whether it be for physical reasons trying to get your body right whether it be for mentally trying to be better mentally trying to be better socially whatever it might be for yourself that's what it's all about you feel me now when it comes to the first seven days, you got to understand, you're going to get urges. You're going to see that shorty at the gym with the fat ass with the, they all got the same leggings on. My fault. But they all got the same leggings on with the fat ass. She dumb thick, yeah? She dumb thick. She dumb thick. She look good as hell. But bro, you got to understand, you going to, you got to understand, you see shorty, you going to have, you going to be like, God damn. You going to start looking at women as like more beautiful. Like you going to see more of the beauty in women you know, just in the first seven days. The first seven days, you're going to be looking at a woman, not just, not just wanting to fuck her no more. Like, you feel me? You're going to be, you're going to look at a woman and it's, you not it's the first thought that comes to your head isn't, oh, I would, I, I'd kill or I, I smash. That's not, it's not going to be it. You're going to be looking at them as finally like they another person. You feel me? Like if you, if your mind has been just been that, if you've been watching so much porn over a long period of time, then yo, you know your mind go from whenever you see a baddie, you see a girl that look a very a girl that's very physically attractive, your mind gonna go automatically to I wanna have sex with her. And you own, really the, the main thing on your mind is gonna be is gonna be having sex with this woman. You feel me? You have nothing to you don't have nothing to you have nothing to have a conversation with this woman about. You feel me? Because the only thing you're thinking about is having sex with her. This woman could be a woman who could get you some money. This woman could be a woman that could that can motherfucking get you some opportunities, could do something, could be a good friend to you or something like that. You feel me? Possibly. But the only thing you're thinking on your mind is you want to have sex with her. You feel me? And you just blocking your blessings because you because you your mind is vibrating because you vibrating at a at a low state in your own in your mind. You look you vibrating all the way down to your your root chakra, your sacral chakra. You feel me? Like, that's not it, man. So the first seven days you're gonna you're gonna see that 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 the urges the urges is gonna be is gonna be high you're gonna be horny and all that but you're also gonna see that that you're gonna start to look at women as 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 more you're gonna start to not just not be just so horny all the time just so horny minded when it comes to talking to women and being around women and whatnot you feel me that social anxiety is gonna finally go down for you if you have social anxiety from masturbating to porn or from or from um or from just like yeah from masturbating to porn that's really from that's really where all that social anxiety come from so 
those first seven days, man, you're going to you're going to find that you're going to realize that you're going to see that within yourself. Also, within the first seven days is when is when you're going to find you're going to find as well that that your skin might start to start glowing and whatnot. Your skin might start looking better. You might you start you might start uh you gonna have more energy in the gym and shit. You know what I'm saying? You going you gonna be more aggressive possibly because you have all this energy within yourself now that you not just letting out like you usually probably would do. You feel me? So now that you have all this energy within yourself, all the other understand that this energy is getting reabsorbed back into your body, your skin your skin is getting affected. Your skin going to be clearer. Yo, you going to be stronger in the gym. You going to have more energy to get through the workout. You probably not going to be needing no more pre-workout or none of that bullshit to be hitting the, hitting the gym and whatnot. You feel me? So, yeah, man. That's some of the stuff that you going to probably experience day one to day seven of being on semen retention. You feel me? Now, you got to understand that this is not just a, a short-term thing for it shouldn't be a short-term thing for most of you. My four niggas is calling me. But it shouldn't be a short-term thing for most of you. For most of you, most of you who's on this journey, a spiritual journey, whatever it might be for yourself, this is something that you will probably want to keep it keep it going for a very long time. You feel me? Because the longer and longer that you go retaining your seed, you're gonna find that the more energy the more the more energy you have within yourself, the more of your own natural alpha god energy that you have you'll have within yourself and with it with this energy this energy naturally will help you to express your true natural self to the world better you're gonna have a way better relationship with the world with other people just by just by retaining your seed retaining your energy within yourself and being sexually disciplined as a man you feel me you're not gonna be so lustful all the time you're not gonna be lethargic and 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 unmotivated and shit you're gonna start to be motivated again to do certain things you're gonna you're gonna get downloads from the universe from the creator because your no your mind is no longer vibrating on a lower plane now you're now you're able now your mind is able to to ascend ascend to the higher to the higher plane because you're no longer being lustful and now you now you're able to get these downloads for whatever the fuck you want to do in your life to level up and whatnot you feel me? So that's day one of day seven. That's the first seven days, man. For real. That's just from what I've experienced myself. And I know a lot of other people have experienced the very same thing. So all my guys out there, I'm telling you right now, to keep it going on your street. Whether today be day one for you or day 30, whatever it might be. Keep it go keep it motherfucking going and understand that. Understand that on the that. The hardest things for you is the best things for you within life. You feel me? This journey as a man, retaining your seed, retaining your sexual energy and keep and being sexually disciplined is being one of the hard is 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 one of the hardest things that you can do as a man. You feel me? So once once you acquired that superpower of being sexually disciplined and having this 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 high energy within yourself finally, bro. I'm telling you right now, man, you're going to be able to, to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to find the, you'll be able to move mountains, my nigga. You'll be able to truly express yourself in the way that you've always wanted to express yourself, but maybe you just ain't have the energy to do it. Or maybe you was in your head being socially anxious, having social anxiety and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Being shy and shit and all that. So that's day one to day seven, man. And that's all I got for y'all today. In future videos, I'm going to be talking about the semen retention journey. I'm going to be talking about other days, more and more of the streak. And I'm also going to be going over with y'all my, my own personal journey, my own personal streak that I'm on right now. And, and sharing my insights from what I get. You know what I'm saying? So, J-Benz Light, and I'm out. You know what I'm saying?